I want to move on to investing and what is an investment. Um, and then from defining what an investment is, continue with the principles of wealth creation. So it's important to understand that when you invest, sorry, when you invest, you're looking to commit your funds into something that will compensate you for three things. So you're putting money away into an asset, yes, for a period of time, but it needs to compensate you for three things. It needs to compensate you for time, it needs to compensate you for inflation, and it needs to compensate you for risk. The reason it, it needs to compensate you for time is, basically what I'm going to do is put away 5,000 shillings when I could have enjoyed that 5,000 shillings now. Would you rather 5,000 shillings in a year or 5,000 shillings now? 5,000 shillings now, yes? Isn't it? Because, I mean, why, why should I get it later? So if I'm getting it later, then it needs to compensate me for that time I'm having to wait and deny myself from feeling gratified and feeling that I'm enjoying the hard work I am doing. And so if I'm putting my money away, it needs to be worth my while to wait. And so that's why it has to compensate you for time. So it must be of more value to me then than it is now. The other thing it needs to compensate you for is inflation. What is inflation? Inflation is the general rise of goods and services. Yeah? I mean, fuel was... 60 something bob a couple of years ago. Today it's what? I'm not even sure with the new taxes how much it comes to, like 117 or something. 116? About 116. So, generally, you'll find milk was much cheaper. Now we're buying milk at 45 bob. Before we were buying it at 30 something. Bread and all, everything that we are closing, everything goes up generally. Um, and would anybody know what the inflation rate is in Kenya? On average? It, it varies and it's likely to go up, but on average it's about 5-6%, yeah? About 5 or 6% uh, the last time I checked. And then there's risk. So where does it need to compensate you for inflation? Sorry, let me answer that. It needs to compensate you for inflation because 100 shillings today and the things 100 shillings can buy me today are not the things that will be able to buy me, uh, that money can buy me a year from now because of inflation. What that means is, if today I can buy one litre of petrol with 100 shillings, a year from now, I'll not get, I'll get zero point something of a litre of fuel, yeah? So I have to make sure at the minimum, whatever it is I'm putting my way, money in, it has to at least cover inflation so that a year from now, I can afford to do the same things I am doing now. So if I'm putting my money away and somebody says, oh, it's a fantastic investment opportunity, it's 3% and inflation is 9%, I look at them and say, thank you very much, but I will look for something else that I can do with my money that will give me a better return because it's not enabling me to make money. I'm actually going to lose money from a purchasing power perspective if I invest my money in 3% and inflation is 9%. Does that make sense? Then there's risk. And risk is basically the fact that I could potentially lose my money. And so if I'm going to potentially lose my money if I invest in something, then I need to make sure that it is worth my while so much that I'm willing to risk. So if it's the government who is, has an opportunity for me to invest through a treasury bond where I lend the government money and they pay me back my money with interest, and I look at the level of risk and I'm like, hmm, what are the chances of the government not paying me back? It's slim, isn't it? They're likely to pay me back. And so the risk is not too much. So I will accept a low interest rate because my risk is not high. However, if Nathan or Hicks comes to me and says, I want to borrow 10,000 shillings, I'll pay you back at 10%. I'm like, are you, you've got to be kidding me. Unless you tell me you're giving me double then I can take the risk. But then, you know, that's a huge risk. And so depending on who and what the investment is, you will then determine what interest rate and what return makes sense given the level of risk you're taking.